Good morning. This is Miss T. So I've decided that I I have a lot of files that were created in Corel Draw X5. And now as you know from 16, 17, and 18 or X8, you cannot uh, open up those old files that you created in Corel or even old templates and whatnot. So you've I'm stuck with, you know, I've been stuck with thousands of files that I could not use until I found Cloud Convert. Cloud Convert has a free version, and uh, what it is, is it converts file types to different file types, which is perfect for what I'm trying to do. And these are all different file types that you can uh, convert your items to. So I'm going to convert, um, I want to convert my vector file, which is the Corel Draw file. And so I just hit Corel Draw, and it tells me the types of files that the Cloud Convert will convert them over to. So it will convert a um, CDR file over to uh, EMF, EPS, PDF, PS, SVG, WM, WMF. I'm using, uh, I'm going to convert it over to WMF right now so that I can open it up in anything, but you can convert it over to PD or uh, um, SVG. All of this is experimental, but I'm telling you, it does work. So I've got files here, and I've already converted my files. I'm going to show you a file that I converted. And looks like it's going to open up in my OneDrive, which is not what I want it to do. Um, so it's trying to save file 04. Let's just go ahead and save it to the desktop. And so I have a, a WMF viewer that I downloaded and for free, of course, and installed um, on my computer that will show me what the images look like before I open them up, which that's great if you have a lot of WMF files. So sample four, this is sample four. Let's just go ahead and open it. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to open it in Corel. Uh, let's see which one. I'm going to open it in X8. Now, the lettering did change a bit here, but I'm fine with that. Let's see here. I've got this design because I can go back and do, you know, different things to that. But everything is vectorized. And so I'm happy with that, that I can use this file as a vector object. Let's go in and see. I've got this one here. I'm going to open it up and open it with Corel. These are files that I cannot open normally in Corel. So this is a way for you to go around it. Now um, the, um, the files will open looks like. The wording will just change to just a regular old wording. I can't really tell because um, I can't tell uh, you know because I can't open up the original files but this is a workaround to opening up those files. I'm going to go in and play with this and see what I can do. Let me just start another conversion. Well, let's select a file and I'm going to go into my OneDrive and um, go into my smart templates. I've got tons of those that are antique but they're still uh, good and I'd be able to use them. So I've got the binder here. Let's see what we can find. Um, see if we can find. There's a template file. Uh, 
it's volume two. And let's see what I can find. I just want to open up. It's a Corel Draw X8 file, so I'm not gonna open that. Well, let's find something that won't open, and then I can go from there. That'll be good. So let me just open up um, Corel and close this out. Let's go to File import something and for this I'm going to go to my OneDrive find my smart templates let's see here See if volume two will open. We can try any type. Let's go here, make that large. Okay, so that's the design. And we can preview the design. So that's good. Let's see if it'll open. Okay, you see that will not open in X8. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back in. Let me pre preview that one more time. Um, so, it was in Volume 2. So, none of the Volume 2 files will open in X8. You'll get this message. So, what I'm going to do is now we're just going to go back to the internet I'm going to select a file out of that volume 2 and go to my OneDrive Just looking for a file that says smart templates. Here we go. So in volume two, and here's volume two, and it's in color. Um, just gonna open up something under general, and let's see. I'm trying to find something that I actually want. A design. Let's click on this one, Strag and Design, and I see that it's got different font styles. So let's see if that opens up just like that. Of course, you'll have to change the font once you do that. So let's go in and let's, uh, here it is. Let's convert it over, select a, um, uh, Select the format. We want it to be an image. We'll try it as a, a WMF image. And then let's go in and let's do that same file and convert it as a uh, as a SVG and see what happens. Because of course I'm just going through. We could do it as an EPS. Open it up as an SVG. We'll do three. Just to see um, how the different files will open. And we'll do four. We'll open, do it as a PDF. Because a lot of times you can open up the PDFs. Um, and it'll open up in anything. 
So let's go there. We're going to convert all of these. And once we convert them, we're going to just hit convert all to. No, it won't let me do it. See, I would have to do everything at one time, and I don't want to do that, so. <laughs> let's go back. Oh, no. Yes, I can. I'm sorry. So, let's see. We've got the first one, which was going to be the WMF. I figured it out, y'all. I'm looking at the wrong thing. WMF, we're going to do a PDF version a SVG and hmm, that postscript version we may should do that also but we'll do the WM oh well, I already have the WMF so let's see what else we can do oh we'll do EPS and let's hit start conversion. It'll start to convert it over and um, it'll let us know if the file converted properly once it's finished. I was having problems finding this file. That's the only thing that I've had problems uh, with and it's saving the file to my OneDrive. Now let's go to show file. I'm gonna figure out uh, if I can save these files all in one folder. Once it goes to the OneDrive, it'll pop up, but it won't actually show me there. You know where it is, but it's called sample ten, and that was the WMF file. So. I'm going to download them all, and then uh, once I download them all, see, so that was the WMF file, which saved. Okay, I noticed this, that the name changes, so let's go to this one and hit show in file. I'm probably going to end up purchasing this. Um, so there's the file. It does change that. I hit show in file, but I want to download that file. Let's go back over here. Again, I don't know if it downloaded it. Show in file. Um, come on. Okay, so download it. Okay, so it's showing me the PDF. And it is changing the lettering in the PDF. But at least I get the clip art, you know. Hey, um, let's try the SVG file. So what it's doing is it's changing the art and it's changing the format of the template. Um which if that's the only way that I can get it okay it doesn't look like there's a preview to download there so we're gonna go here we're gonna just save this on the desktop and see how that opens and then we're gonna go in and I'm gonna also save this uh, PDF here uh, EPS file save the EPS file and um, so let me download that. So it looks like they all pretty much save the same way. Let's close all this down. Let's go here. Let's kind of sh shut that down. And let's go to the desktop. So here's the PDF. Here's this one, which is an EPS file. Let's see how that opens. Let's just hit open in Corel Draw and 
fuck's sake. And we'll place it on there as curves for now. Okay, and that did change. So it's not saving the format, but I guess you could ideally go back in and, you know, move all of that, change that and make it be what you want it to be. Um, wouldn't be a big deal. Let's see. So you're not going to have text, or are you going to be able to change this text? Let's see. Because I clicked it to open it up in, uh, yeah, so this is going to open up um, vectorized, so you're not going to be able to change this text. Yeah. So you would just go back in and type in dragons yourself. Um, but that's how it works, and I'll probably go ahead and buy this thing because you get on file conver converter you do get um, 500 conversions for um, 8 bucks I think it'll be worth $8 for me to get those templates so I'm gonna do that on this one I can you can download um, five concurrent versions you can do 25 conversions a day uh, but here this would be good for me as a matter of fact let's see there's a thousand conversions for eight bucks a month um, that ain't bad if you are gonna be doing it all the time but I'd probably end up 500 conversions I'll count off how many files I have and let's see Okay, so even if I did about 2,500 files, 30 bucks, that ain't bad for me. Alrighty, thanks for watching.